Hey, when's that Paul of yours gonna give the word to go? I don't talk for him. You grants own this river, don't you? Man has been told by one and all. He can't dolly in it, can't challenge it. You can't shoot it without old Aaron Grant saying how or when or where. Well, if you want a prayer on coming out alive, that's about the size of it. Hey, what are we waiting for, old man? The river. The river says when she's ready to receive. She better be ready for Ace Tully. Gonna haul down that miserable creek and bog up on Easy Street. I figure it's worth at least six, seven hundred dollars per week from state fares alone. Well, uh, guy I know up Toronto way sitting on top of a flagpole. Huh. Anybody want to drop down an autograph on a piece of paper, they gotta send up a dollar bill first. And some king down by Rochester buried himself alive, charges 50 cents a piece just to look down the hole at him lying down there. Sitting on a flagpole. Stretched out under a few feet of soil. You know that won't kill you? Less boredom is your poison. Now, Niagara, she's another breed. I ain't afraid of no rush of water that points its way toward the sea. Let's go! Not here. The Mounties would skim you out with a butterfly net before you ever hit white water. All right, Paul? Down near the tunnel overhang, the one Lonnie found. Lonnie. Lonnie should be here with us. That's the right of it. Oh, we don't need Lonnie, Paul. The two of us can handle it. Maybe. That don't change the wish, none. are cheaper, tomatoes are cheaper, now's the time to fall in love. Why the butcher, the baker, the old candlestick maker? Uh, thanks for the lift. See you keep out of those janky jails. Now that you can count on. Don't seem fair. Every hall to Canada I used to bring me back a case of gin just for pocket money. <laughs> I got caught second time around, but Better born Canadian than lucky. No more of that easy money now prohibitions, Homer. God save the king. <laughs> no. Not this time. Just low and goodbye. Lois? Let me out a month early. Good behavior. Oh. <laughs> Baby, you look pale. Six months making license plates in a metal shop with barred windows so caked with dirt you couldn't tell if it was night or high noon. Oh, my poor baby. It taught me never again. We are never going to be shut out of God's sunlight ever again. <laughs> Just black soil, fresh air, sunshine, soft rain, any way the Lord wants to mix it. Oh, darling, I love you so. <laughs> I couldn't picture you. I'd lie in that cell. I'd try to make you be there with me. But I could never get you right. Well, do I look different to you? Carl says I put on flesh. You know, like the song says, potatoes are cheaper. You still look like a bride. Where's Pa and Carl? Down by the rapids, there's something going on. What? Oh, they don't tell me. You know how they are. They know I know, but they won't say it out. Open up! Anyone home? Open up!
Where's Aaron Grant? I don't know. Who are you? Lonnie Grant. I'm his son. I will. I'll tell you straight. Words out that some fool's trying to shoot the rapids in a barrel. Now, I'm new to this district, but they say that when someone gets that particular crazy notion in their head, there's only one man they go to for help, and that's Aaron Grant. Aiding and abetting. That is a criminal offence. Carries a prison term on conviction. Now, if you're the son I've heard about, you should know what that's like. So I would advise you to take whatever steps you can to see that doesn't happen to your father. If the word's out, there should be a crowd at the bluff. Carl should be there. If he isn't. If he comes back here, tell him Pa's got to call it off. behind all this? I sure am. You see, what I did was I bought a hundred of these for six cents a piece and I'm selling them for a quarter a piece. That comes to, uh, uh, let's see, six, seven. Well, there's a lot of money in this line. And this just for the rapids. When he goes over the falls, that's the big nickel. Carl? Yeah. Where'd Pot take him? Well, you know that rock tunnel that you found when we were kids? Are you going to try and stop him? Don't try to stop me. I'll break your jaw. Give me his hand and his help when I need it! Mm. Ah. I'm not here to help you. This time, the Mounties are talking jail. Now, Pa, this is crazy. <laughs> now, Carl may think there's a pot of gold in that fool, but it's just a pipe dream. Hey, who are you calling a fool? Shut your mouth! I don't give a potter's spit about the money. But this, that river did this to me, and I mean to best it any way, any chance that I get. That's 20 years ago, Pa. You were swept over the falls, and you lived. Let it go at that. Not while I got breath left in. You hear that? You understand? It's your life. All I know is I got a piece of paper signed by your pa and your brother Carl, saying I give them 30% of everything I make because they helped me make the barrel. And give me an edge with the river. Because I'm tired of looking up at the crankcases and down into the grind. 
I like to have clean fingernails and a chance to be somebody. I don't care what the cost is, it don't matter. You are a fool. My son's right, you know. Get down! I just decided I'm gonna get $2 for my autograph. Well, you heard him. The only chance this man has got is with us. All right, Pa. But only because you're in so deep that if he comes out alive, you're better off than if he comes out dead. I've seen enough prison for all the grants. Any sign of them? No. Maybe it's just a hoax. Not with the grants in on it. Already ahead of time with pictures and such. I've got men searching every inch of the shoreline. If the part of it will find them. Now, you don't have to go. You don't have to do it. I'll say I do. Give this to my wife, just in case. Sure. Now, you listen to me, and you listen close. Feel all those ropes in there? You grab hold of those, and you hold on no matter what. The river is running strong below the first narrows. It's kicking up waves as big as haystacks. When you feel it, you pull left. You pull with all the heart and gut that's in you. And that's the only chance you've got. And see you bring it back good as new. He's in the current now. Why doesn't he pull against it? He hasn't mind to live. He'd best to listen to me. Pull! Pull away!
is torn. He hasn't got a chance. He's got us. Your brother! I'll decide who will be arrested here today. It's against the law to try your life against the Niagara. The law applies to the grants the same as everyone else. See that you remember that. You did well here today. And by God, you're a Grant. What about me? Oh, you too, Carl. You too. I am proud of both of you. <clears throat> now hear me, you great evil rush of water. The Grants have set a watch on you. Pa! It doesn't care. It doesn't care if it cripples you or kills you or lets you win. It just doesn't care. I care. more sugar, tell me. It's about the only thing that won't grow down in Chenango Valley. Too cold for citrus. That's where you got picked out for us, Chenango? Mm. Hitched through there on my way back from the pen. 
topsoil, three feet deep. They say you gotta be careful not to throw out your coffee grounds down there or they'll grow. <laughs> your hands for growing things, honey. We'll have tomatoes bigger than watermelons. You'll have your own house. I'll finish it just right. I'll build the furniture myself. Lois, I can see it all coming right for us. It's always been right for us, Lonnie. All it takes is being together. Baby, let's be gone by the end of the week. But just long enough to say our goodbyes proper. OK. I built this raft when I was 15, just out of pieces of scrap. Boy, when I first launched that raft, I felt like I owned the river. Just like your pa feels every day. That's why I gotta turn my back on it before I get to be like pa. And it won't let me go. Where are you fixing to go? Shenango Valley. Farming. Well, uh, Lonnie, here's what we took in today, mostly quarters, but uh, I want you to have it. No. You and Pa are going to need that. Besides, me and Lois got us a little nest egg from that job I did my time for. Right, honey? Lonnie, the way of it is, is that well, you were up there getting three free meals a day from the state. Well, Pa and Lois and I, we had to pay for our food on the table. You had my wife on a diet of potatoes. How much can that cost? A lot of men like them on the round side line. Uh, and how much of it went into paying for those pictures and building that barrel? Well, that was a gamble. With my money. Why is it every time I bump around a corner into trouble? There you are, smiling away. Now, that is not true, Lonnie. What about my coming in with you on running that whiskey? Oh, just bad luck. Mm, my bad luck. Well, ours, too. Wife without her husband. Pa without his oldest son. Practically his other arm. Me. Without a brother to show me the way of things. <laughs> Carl, if there are any jobs open for sweet talkers and con men, there's going to be no depression for you. Well, I mean what I say, Lonnie. I swear, I can't stay angry at anybody who can make me really laugh. Hey, let's put this where it'll do some good. Something a little stronger for Lois's lemonade? Huh? And then fight the whole town. Every river rat you can lay your hands on. We're gonna blow the roof off of this place just like we used to, right? Huh? All right, we're gonna have a party. <laughs> All right, quiet, you mugs. Everybody ready? Give her up now, boys. Wait now, wait. All right, Aaron. Give the signal. Ready! Go! Come on, Lonnie! Come on, go! 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 Go!
Now that's for me to say and nobody else. Ready? He's a man now. You try not to mother him too much. Come on, I'll go you again. Hey! You quit? You hurt her. <laughs> Later. The railing. All right. Show them. <laughs> you remember? The way we used to play Blondin on it? Yeah, I remember. And you almost broke your neck. Yeah? Well, let's just see who breaks his neck first this time. Well, come on. You scared? That's a fair challenge. Or are you scared? Play, get it out of their system. Oh, play, they're not children. Ready, go. Just having a good time. Are you? Sure. Why shouldn't I be? <laughs> hey! Hey! Hey. This time I dance with my wife, huh? Tomatoes uh. are cheaper. Now's the time to fall in love. Why the pitcher, the baker, the old candlestick maker? Gave that price a downward shot. Grab yourself someone to fry your eggs. Lonnie! She what? She can live just like a queen on what you're making. You'll find that sunshine on your You can finish the dance. Baby, I'll be right back, I promise. Now you tell him. You were there and you saw it and you tell him. What? That I warned the poor fool what to do. If he'd have listened to me and pulled against the current, he could have made it. Now you tell him. Maybe. Maybe he could have. <laughs> you hear my son? The falls, the rapids, the whole thing. Well, no one can do that. I can. Now that I got Lenny back. Oh. Didn't he tell you, Pa? He's leaving. I'm taking Lois across to the States. We're going to try our hand at farming. Farming? Yeah. Lois was born to it. 
It's what we both want. Her doing? My own. Being locked up, I gave it a lot of thought. I got good reasons. But to, to leave here, to leave the river, that's not natural. You're a grant. Come on, Lon. I'll swim your race out to go down in right now. I will hear no more of that. The river's no place for puking boys and drunks. Almost tore the life out of a man today, and by God, you will show respect to it. It's just a game. A game? No. Not unless you've got the guts to stake your life on it. One chance flick of a current, the two of you would be swept over the falls like trash and ground to porridge before you hit bottom. There'll be no games played with the river. Oh, come on now, Ali. What about yourself? Didn't you get swept over them falls with nothing but a life jacket 20 years ago, nearly? Here you still are. Chance, hand to God, it was no game. So there I was. Leaning into the tidal muck, trying to pull out a poor dead bride, still all in her party finery. And then I felt it grab me, like a great claw from beneath bent on tearing the soul out of my very body. And then it ripped and flung me over the crest of the falls like a piece of garbage. And then, down! like falling through eternity itself, so I could suffer the length of it and die a thousand times over. But you took its measure, and you outlived her. There ain't another man can say that. Because it let me. Can't you understand that? It let me so that it could humble the inside of me, drive me off. Well, it couldn't. I waited my time. I spent watch on it. I spied it out. And I'll be the first one yet to humble it. I'll take the whole measure of it yet. The falls and the rapids. Ha! You've been threatening that river as long as I know it, Jared. You think I'm lying? Oh, no. No, oh, there, there ain't a man in the river put his life back his word like you. No, I, I, I believe you. Just to prove it, we'll share a solemn drink. Come on. Carl, don't let him do it. Do what? He's got it in his head to try the rapids. I can see it getting inside him like a fever. But Carl, he can't make it. He's too old. You're just talking. Uh, please. Uh, promise me you won't let him do it. Lonnie, you know how he uh, is. Just promise me. OK. No, damn it. Say it. I promise. All right. I promise. Thanks. She wants to be alone with you.
Figured. Now, I just gotta go find Pa, try and make him understand. I'll be right back. Oh, God. The raft. His arm is all but finished. The rest of him will heal. He's refusing to eat. Well, I can see how you might want to fix the blame all on me. Okay, so I helped him. Oh, it's not your fault. You couldn't have stopped him any more than Lonnie could have or any more than your mother could. I really thought he could make it. Well, maybe you can talk some sense into him. He should be in hospital. He needs nourishment. Somebody's got to make him do it.
Pa, did you hear that? You want to get well, don't you? I'm lick. Makes no difference if I live or die. Well, I'll drop by in the morning. You know, I don't understand you, Grants. But then I guess nobody in town does. I don't understand for all his education, all his pills. Just doesn't understand. You take a man's pride and you take away his life. And eating and breathing are just ways to pass the time. <laughs> you. Leaving the river. Even thinking about it, planning for it. Made you different. I'm not gone yet. And I don't go till you're set straight. How are you going to set me straight, son? Lord's truth is you set your hand against me. Against my gain and the only victory I ever wanted. Carl, I'm selling the place. Nothing left for us here. Well, there's very few takers now, Pa. The times. Take what you can get, divide it any way you want. It's no matter to me. If we could do it, ride the falls. Forget the rapids. There'd be no need to sell. No need to do nothing but just sit back and watch that money roll in. And I don't think it's too late either. With one hand to put against it? <laughs> Besides, it don't mean nothing unless it's a grant that does it. I'm a grant. Yes, son. You surely are. Beer chaser, Long? Sure. Why not? of a barrel right outside and back of the house. I already told you I don't want blood on my hands. Nobody's gonna have blood on their hands. I'm gonna make it over those falls. A lot of people have made it over. Mm -hmm. A lot more haven't. Yeah, but Lonnie, they didn't have you to build their barrel for him either. I wouldn't trust anybody but you. You also happen to be my brother. That's not just coincidence, either. <laughs> when I go over those falls, it's gonna give some meaning to that old man's life. But... I guess if you're not gonna help me, I'm just gonna have to build a barrel myself. Lonnie, I know there are some who think me mad. My life's spent and lost. But Carl, his is still a promise. I've never begged another living soul for anything. But I'm begging you to help your brother. It's almost done. Said it's almost done. 
I really got to thank you, Lon. Well, don't. You'll have triple seams inside and out. Couldn't be more solid. That thing will hold, won't it, Lon? If you don't hit rock. Well, Pa says there's only one bad rock spot from where I go over. I'll just stay clear of it, that's all. While you're at it, see to it you don't get sucked down behind the falls. Remember that Greek that tried it? 14 hours before that barrel came up to the surface. A couple hours breathing. That's all you got. Well. So what are you trying to do, shake me? Yeah, I am. Well, tomorrow's a big day, Lois. And after that, a lot of things are going to be different. I already got to figure it out. First, I'm going to go on a vaudeville tour, you know, just to tell them how I did it. And then they're going to be throwing so much money at me just to say how I use different things like soap, hair grease. Yeah, just you wait. There's going to be people coming from every witch corner just to point out the grants. Might even go on radio. That'd be a lot of fun. Money. trying to work this. Nothing grows here anyway. The soil's dead. Forget it. You'll have your own house in a, <laughs> a, a real garden before any of this stuff oh, ripens. I've heard that before. And there is more than one kind of love I am answerable to. That doesn't cut across what I feel for you. You gotta understand that. Be patient with me. Huh? It's all right. I'm here. I'm with you. Bed is for sleeping and dying, and some other things, most of which I'm too old for. Carl goes over those falls, I'm gonna be there in all my finery. That's if I can get this rag to fit. You know it's the only suit I ever had in my life. Got married in it. <laughs> but what does a man need with more than one suit in a lifetime? It's only for going to church, going to court. And funerals. Oh, you are like her. And I suppose, like her, finally you'll walk out, won't you? Like your wife? 
No, not like her. Because when I leave here, Lonnie and me are going together. Lonnie will never leave. Oh, you think you won, don't you? Well, you want a real fight, okay, you've got it. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> well, make no mistake about it, old man. It's a battle between you and me. Because I'm going to fight you for Lonnie. You say he's married to that river, and I say he's married to me. It's still night. What are you doing? Me and Lonnie are going to row the barrel up above the falls while it's still dark so the Mounties won't see us. Hey, give me a hand here. No. Lonnie, why are you letting him do it? It's not up to me. He made his own choice. He did not. He's the one that made the choice. And after Carl is killed, then you'll be next? Hey, you just quit talking like that, Lois. It's bad luck. It doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what anyone says except him. Can't you see what he's doing to you? He is crazy. <laughs> All right. We're going to do it. Let's get going. She shouldn't have said that. It's bad luck for sure. Bad luck. Don't start sobbing about luck. You swallow that, it'll turn your gut to water. I just talk. Well, don't. It's no different than fighting your way through a blizzard instead of lying down and letting yourself be frozen to death. This damn world is full of things that have no reason for existence except to cower a man, to make him grovel to the ground, a mountain to fall on him, a chasm to suck him down into everlasting blackness. Well, if he cowers, if he grovels, He's nothing. Now, the falls are no different than a great desert waiting to burn the skin off your very flesh. A man masters whatever's there, or he's nothing. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Time to get going. Carl. I'm very proud of you. And when this is over, I will be even more proud. Uh. You okay? Oh, sure, yeah. It's just... She shouldn't have said that. <sighs> With my luck, I got to make it. One, two, three, and oh. And then, I'm famous.
are you doing? Wait a minute, will you? I want to make sure of something. I knew all my life that one day I'd be standing here just like there was something in that stupid river just pulling me here. Just, just reaching out at me. That's crazy, isn't it? But it's what Ma used to feel. And Lois, too. Haven't you ever felt it, Lonnie? Haven't you? I'm not gonna do this, Lonnie. I'm not gonna die just because I was born a Grant. I'm not! Good. It's well forgotten. Come on. We'll go down and tell Pa. You let me go. I'm not going to face him. You can't do that. It'll kill him. We'll make something up. You hurt yourself. Or the barrel was no good. No. I can't face him. I can't ever face him again, Lonnie. You tell him. He'll believe you. He loves you, Lonnie. Please tell him. <laughs> Let's go home now, huh? You've been out here all day long. Come on now. Here I am, here I'll stay. Till I find his body and take it home. It was a barrel. The barrel was no good. Must have busted open when he hit bottom and thrown him out. It was the barrel. The barrel, the barrel! Okay, Pa. It was the barrel. Must have broke open. That's what happened. Come on home now, huh?
everything in the garden so I wouldn't have to leave it here to die with no one to look after it. Did you get the tickets? I started to. You know, I even went to the ticket office and got in line. Me. I couldn't, Lois. Not yet. Carl said there was something in it. Something in the river that was clutching out at him. <sighs> I know what he means. I've always felt it. I've always been afraid of it. I have to do it, Lois. For that crazy old man, I... I can't leave him with what time he's got thinking he killed Carl. But he did kill Carl! No! Carl would have made it if he trusted. But the river caved him in. I gotta show Pa it wasn't his fault. I gotta set him free, Lois. But you'll kill yourself. No. I'll make it. And not just for Pa, but for me. Oh. <laughs>
all right, son? You beat it! And I'll live to see the day when you beat it all, the Falls and the Rapids. Lonnie, this day is yours. And mine, too. And it's only the beginning. No, Pa. This is the end of it. What are you talking? You beat it! I did beat it. And now I'm free. Try and understand, Pa. Try. People are switching from One, regular two, cola three, to Diet four, Right Cola. One. Watch. People who don't need it, drink it. Folks not on a diet, try it. Everybody likes it. Diet Right Cola. Everybody likes it. Diet Right Cola. Everybody likes it. And you know why? Because it tastes so good. People are switching to Diet Right Cola because it has all the good taste of regular cola with only half the calories.